Um, now on to some general topics that I sort of uh, glossed over or didn't cover when it comes to uh, investing in stock things. So, um, what I, I don't really have notes here. I'm just looking away. I do have some notes, but they're not relevant. So, um, one thing with uh, but one thing with stock buying is you generally want to do most of your buys as a limit. They call it a limit order. And there's market orders and limit orders. A market order means that you buy it at any price and they'll usually, like a dealership, they'll charge you two or 3% more uh, because you said that you'd buy it at any price. So they're gonna mark it up to 3% automatically. There you go. And then a limit order says that, like you'll buy Bitcoin at 10,000 bucks, but not a dollar more. So if it never goes, if the value never goes to 10,000 or below, then you might never buy it. Um, and then if it uh, if it goes to like from 13,000 down to eight, somewhere in there your 10,000 would strike and you'd buy Bit you'd buy a Bitcoin at 10,000 bucks. And that's a limit order. And uh, for big purchases of as a percent of your portfolio, for any big purchase, I think limit orders are very, very much worthwhile. You avoid that 3% and you can catch the spikes. Um, it's not uncommon for something to spike down uh, 10, in a day it can spike down 10%. That's really not uncommon. And it might only spike down for um, an hour or two, or maybe a few minutes, like five minutes. But if you have it, your limit order set, then you're gonna be good to go on that. Um, whereas if you uh, do a market order, then you can never ever catch the spikes. You'll never be able to trade within the five minutes that something spikes down. You always want to do limit order. So, so that covers uh, limit orders, and you can do the same thing at a sell price. Um, and then I covered uh, call spreads previously, covered setting up a Robinhood account. Now, when it comes to Robinhood account, um, Robinhood's designed to be used on the phone. Most things are not designed to be used on the phone, most investing apps, but Robinhood is. And there's a few tricky things with Robinhood that you wanna know how to do. One of the things is that you want to, when you do a call spread or a spread, you want to, uh, you select the time frame that you're gonna do it, like let's say January, 2022. And then in the upper right corner, you have to push the select button and that will let you uh, buy a call and sell a call to create the spread. If you don't press the select button, they'll just do it one at a time. And if you um, don't have level three uh, access, then you might not be able to do that. If you only have level two, then you might not be able to do a spread. And then I'm gonna basically recommend that you don't do options. Um, now, uh, let's think if there's anything else. Um, now, uh, I didn't go over a credit put spread, and I also didn't go up over why not to just do a call option. Why, why not to do call options? So um, let's, let's do a credit put spread. Um, I'll pull one up here, and then uh, I got one that I bought. So I'll show this one, and then uh, we'll go over into why not to do call options. Okay, so and, and only do spreads. So this is a credit put spread. Um, let's see, break even price. Okay, there we go. So this is one, this is the kind of thing that I might recommend you do, except I'm not gonna recommend this per se, just because it's costly relative to the reward. So again, I'm long on Tesla and um, this time I sold this put and bought, uh, I think that's right. I don't know. I, 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 I think I sold this one and bought this one. And um, when I did that, someone paid me uh, 460 bucks. So whereas with the call option that I mentioned earlier, I paid out, you saw me, I paid out $700. With this one, they paid me 
500. They paid me 500 now for that. Um, it doesn't show you here, but for that, uh, Robinhood keeps an amount of money, which is the difference between uh, six and two. So let's just do the math here. So four times 100, uh, wait a second. Well, I, I, I bought more than one, I guess. Or maybe I bought two. Whatever. Um, yeah, someone gave me four, six, uh, 460 bucks. Robinhood has $800 that it won't let me withdraw, which is the amount that I'll need to cover the spread if Tesla is less than $232 um, by September 2022. And so this will get me, when, when it's all said and done, this will get me about 100% profit and it'll take about two years for this profit to come through. And um, this, this is very similar to the call spread that I did before, but it's uh, doing it through puts. Um, some people like to do this. I was just doing it just, to, just more of a test. Now let's go ahead and do um, why you don't wanna buy calls and why you wanna do spreads. So I'm gonna pick a time frame far out here and I'm gonna pick the 500 buying the call at, at 500. So this here is saying that, <laughs> this here is saying that Tesla will um, be worth more than $500 uh, in 2023. And in order to break even, in order to break even, um, they already do the math for you, but it needs to be uh, $665, which uh, 500 plus 165, $665. That makes sense, right? So that's what Tesla has to do to break even. I mean, on that, on that uh, option or whatever. And then it, Another question we might ask ourselves, how much does it need to get to make 100% profit? Well, Tesla has to go to 8.30 to make 100% profit on that. Now, if Tesla goes to like uh, $2,000, we, we start to make a lot of money. You know, if Tesla goes to 2,000, we make, uh, you know, 1,000% profit almost, or 900% profit. Now let's go ahead and look at a spread and uh, see what happens. And let's just do a very similar spread. Let's do the 490 and the 500. So again, we're saying that Tesla has to go to 500 bucks for us to, to make money. But now what does Tesla do if, we, if it hits 500? And here, um, again, the math is quite simple because I'm picking $10 increments and I'm partly doing that to keep the math simple. But here, if Tesla is 500 bucks, whereas before we needed to get to um, 660, 665 to break even, now we just needed to hit exactly 500 or more. And how much do we make? Well, we get $10, that's the spread, 500 minus 490. And then our investment is $3.15 so we make a flat 300% uh, profit, a flat 300% profit. Now, um, as mentioned before, to make a 300% a profit uh, with just the call option, Tesla has to go to $1,000. And to make the same profit, Tesla has to only be, you know, only hit 500 in this other scenario. So that's why, um, what I'll call naked calls. Naked calls are rarely, rarely, rarely profitable. Uh, you're really betting that the stock will go up like 20X, 10X, if you're buying a naked call. Now, with the one I showed you just then, um, you got a maximum of 300% return if Tesla hit uh, 500 bucks. So obviously, if Tesla went to 2,000 bucks, you'd make more with, with the naked call but with the spread, you're gonna make um, the same profit if Tesla goes up to 1,000 or 500. And obviously it's more likely that Tesla will just be more than 500 bucks 
then it will be more than a thousand bucks or more than two thousand bucks. I mean, it, it, it could be two thousand bucks. I mean, I'm not gonna say it won't be, but um, but yeah, I, I really should have emphasized that in the in, in the other video, but that that just shows you how a call a spread can you know, in this in this scenario, uh, the spread is a 300% return in three years um, if it hits. And uh, that's a totally adequate rate of return as opposed to doing a naked call option and banking that Tesla will be 2,000 bucks in three years. So anyways, so that, I think that concludes most of the general investing. Um, you wanna be an active investor. <laughs> Well, I'll conclude that and then I'll go on more, a little bit more about investing. Okay, so if you like that, Patreon below, uh, Bitcoin1776, join the newsletter. We're giving away some tokens. Uh, you can mine the coins. It's a project I'm running. I hope you like it. Uh, all right, so now going on how to invest. So this is with general investing. So uh, 